rich. Hey, thanks for checking out my video. If you enjoy the content, please like, subscribe, and comment. Make a rib for your chance at winning a $10 gift card of your choosing. The drawing will be held when I reach 600 followers. I also have a Twitch where I do bi-monthly giveaways as well, so go check me out there. Hey, what's going on, guys? So, this video is going to be about the weapon meta and also um, about a new thing that I added to my map. It's a peace control section that I took from Raider 464 but did my own little version of it. Uh, so there's a ton of things you can practice in this map now, and I'll show you that at the end of the video. First, let's get into the current weapon meta for arena and pubs. Uh, let's get right to it. All right, so current meta is kind of weird between the two um, two modes now, between pubs and and um, arena. There's uh, some different weapons, like like you don't can no longer get the impulses in arena and there's a lot of these weapons aren't in there so the real point of this is to go over the meta which is the main weapons that drop if you're not picking up a some sort of exotic weapon or a legendary weapon or not legendary but mythic weapon so this is my shotgun tier list right here so right now this is the strongest gun in the game um it has a damage of 120 and you could headshot pretty well with it with a, if you full charge 206 so I'm gonna put up a like a value chart on the screen now they can check out all the um, shotguns including like comparing them well we'll go by gold rarity but you have the gold tack which does eight was it 88 body shot damage you have Dragon's Breath. I don't know. I didn't pick up this one. So it does 160 body shot, but let's see how much headshot it does. This chart doesn't have the Dragon's Breath. So 200. So it still doesn't do as much as the charge, but it you can do a lot more body shot. Let's see, what does the charge do? Charge 100%. It does 155 body shot. The gold charge 229 headshot. So next we have the lever action so the lever action body shot is actually stronger than the pump it does 114 body while the pump does 110 but it doesn't have the two times headshot multiplier so it only does 165 headshot gold tack does 132 headshot full damage and if you don't charge the gold charge it does 153 so you, you're pretty close uncharged to the lever action so if you got that timing down it's probably the one to go with but if you don't lever action is probably the second best bet it shoots pretty fast it's not as fast as the tack but i can't really show you how fast it shoots right now third is the tack obviously and then last i in my opinion is the dragon's breath um it's just too long to load doesn't do enough damage it's like too hard to hit a head 200 headshot with these like consistently so i would avoid it unless you have a p90 maybe after it or something like that so now let's go over the ars and the p and the smgs no number one to me is usually the gold scar because you can do a lot more with it um, it's a better spray weapon so if you combine it with the charge you're in good shape um this one's balls for that so if you have a if you're attack person because you like how it shoots better this is one for you i think um it'll it can even work with the um lever action because the lever action shoots pretty quickly so you don't need an smg really after it so you can work with that and if you get like two good shots with that and spray with this after it's pretty good third ar which is also an smg um i find i th still think this is a great option um you don't need an ar if you use this and you don't need an SMG if you use this either. So if you're in a situation like that, you can pair it with the charge, you can pair it with pretty much any shotgun and it's gonna work pretty well. Now, as far as SMGs go, P90's number one. The suppressed SMG only goes up to blue and it's kind of crap, so I'd actually put this one above it, but it's hard to find this in anything but blue. But sometimes you will. And I don't think it's gonna be an arena anymore, unfortunately, but so, if it's, you're talking about arena, don't even worry about this anymore. The 
I think the IO guards are gone. So between these two, I'm at max upgrade. I'd still take like the normal, I pretty much take the normal SMGs over the suppressed almost any time. Maybe like a gray SMG versus a blue suppressed, but that's it. So pairings, you have the charge, you want something to spray after with. Same thing with the lever action usually and always with the dragon's breath, even if it's a second shotgun. You might want to carry it with attack or even a second dragon's breath, it's up to you. But this is going to be the best spray if you're only doing two guns. If you're doing three, you're going to want any sort of SMG uh, for follow-up and to build, break builds and stuff. But they'll and the if you're going to do go with this heavy assault rifle, the P, this shotgun is the best, the tactical, because um, you're not going to need to follow up with another shotgun. If you have God Aim, then you can pair it with these, but that's it. And if you're gonna go Sniper, you probably don't wanna do heavy AR and Sniper. I feel like that there's too much long range, slow fire. You need something to spray. Like you could even do um, Charge P90 um, Bolt, or you could do a Charge uh, Scar Bolt. You could even do this one, so. Any of those will work. Uh, you can even do le lever action, then either scar or P90 or suppressed, and then one of these. And it, it kind of gives you, you want to pair them like that. And you're going to have to decide on movement and heals. So I like to usually have a movement item like peppers, or especially in Arena now, I like the peppers. Bounce, if you have bounce pads, then you don't have to worry about the slot as much. Yeah, so that's about it. All right, so this is the new piece control. So let's go through this one. You can exit back out through that like I just did, or you can just go through the piece, do it. Let's walk over here, shotgun. So we have this one. These are gonna spawn in here. You're gonna wanna go in here like that. And then you wanna pull a peek. These are going to reset. He's going to come back. So you can practice this. You can move from peaks. No reset. That does up five times, and then you can do it as many times as you need up until five. And if it, if after five, you can just break your, your own builds if you really want to practice one specifically. Now it doesn't reset, so you just break that. So I might add it a couple more times, but you have all this to go through. So the same thing with this one. Respawns, try different peaks. Okay, next is this one. So this one, you wanna put a ramp in here. And practice all your different ways of going about it it's gonna always reset so you do these you get in like this you butter at it go on these practice taking these pieces under here because like i i'm still getting used to like this placement of those I'm, this is why I actually built this. I need practice and you gotta get used to these angles. Take this one. Just like that. So this one. All about the same. And they just reset. Next one is this. So it's a similar situation. You want to go in there. Try to hit, catch that wall and reset it. Try to block yourself with right hand peaks. Get used to that. 
and put a ramp in here too, just like that. Yeah, same thing from a different angle. Now this one, he's underneath here, so you want to practice full boxing these guys. Can't hit them. Now you can either hit this one, right hand peek it, do this one, like that. You can even do something cheeky like this. Probably not going to do this one, but they won't expect it. Now this is the opposite, so cone, ramp, ramp, ramp. Better. See the thing is if you do that, they can jump out and get you. So it's probably better. Alright, this one's broken right now, so let's see if we get it works in a second. Kill. There we go. Keep practicing that. Alright, so then this is a jump side one. I like the right hand peanut butter on this one. You can use any shotgun on these to to it. Let's see, I messed that up. This one, so this one you put that in. Put your wall there. Now you can either do something like that. That. You can go, go back to this move. Anything you want. Anything you need work on. So this one is the double wall drop down. Got that. Let's walk out here. Go up here. Back down. This is the repeating. Base. Sets done, and that's it for this course. So we could do a quick run through. I'm gonna. All right. So I like to just start here. Do this, do this little warm up with the AR. Just tap it. There's only assist that helps. Then you go up to here. There's a little zombies around. Practice quick build. Then here you go through this and do flick shots. Each side, hide the combat. Shotgun fist. This is the smallest battle pellet spread. Run through here. Do some snipe shots. These moving targets. Go over here. Do a little box fighting. Go over these guys. Try to practice that, then you jump side shots. If you catch one of over here, you try it over here and just perfect getting those jump shots. This is a little um, wall keeper, so you like practice doing shotgun shots between it. You can go past this guy with impulses, so you have air shots, you have guys going back and forth over here. So you can practice your SMG tracking air, track whatever you want. Pop buttons over here, these guys pop up and down, they're pretty cool. You just like stand in the green spot, or you can go up here, or you go back over there, wherever you want to. So, horizontal tracking, same like, I think it works up to like here. Vertical tracking the same, this goes up and down. This is a sniper station and AR station where the aim is right here. Oh, you can then I like to do the edit course, or warm up, and then usually I don't do all this stuff unless I'm actually just um, training, like if I just want to do a nice little warm up. And then you just go through center piece control, samples here, so turn through this thing, and you go through all left side piece control, see so a sample there, right side piece control right next to it, but it's right there. Um, now this is a wall replacing and boxing practice, so you can actually do this where it's saying the other one pretty well. This is another one where you, somebody ramps over your box, and you try to break this wall, you cone them like this, and then box them in, and then you take them out. Um, box fight edits. So this is up here, this is from your 464. You just go through all these. It's different box fights edits of targets, nice to get used to shooting after. Vertical shotgun edits, these are nice too. Edit through, shotgun shot, edit through, same thing, triple edit. All quadruple edits, so all that stuff. And this is like the simple stuff for what it just edits. You can work on that and then edit down. So just like go down, get it. And that's about it. You also have the airplane and this is to like give you practice working on flying or driving. Um, and then all this work just a free build. You free build all day in here. Yep, so that's it guys. That's the whole video. Um, if you like the content, like, subscribe, and leave the comments for the giveaway. Um, and let me know what you think. If you want anything added or have any opinions on what you want. Or just tell me how you like the course. So this, this is it now. There's not much more memory I could use. I have 400 or four, what, 7,000 or 3,300 bits left of memory. So... Not much I could add, but if there's any suggestions you have, let me know and we'll give it a try. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.
plates, they'd model cars and paper plates. Hate to say, but I'm too old.